Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to talk to you guys today about my healthy hair routine. Taking care of my hair is a huge pleasure of mine. I wanted to share with you guys things I've learned over the years, going through everything with my hair, and I'm in a really good place with it right now. So I wanted to share with you guys my healthy hair routine. A huge part of, I think, healthy hair is not damaging it. The only kind of brush I use on my hair is this wet brush, which isn't abrasive or rough at all. And I detangle my hair right before I deep oil. The oil I'm using right now, I can't show you because I'm actually coming out with it next year. So stay tuned. But I deep oil with one of my favorite oils or the one I'm using now. And then I scalp massage with one of these thingamabob. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll link it down below. Massaging your scalp is huge if you want to see really nice hair growth. Then I put my hair up after it's all oiled. I oil my ends as well, really important. I put it up in a clip and I let it sit for an entire day. The next day, I get a shower and I shampoo my roots only twice. So I take my time massaging the shampoo into my roots, only using the pads of my fingers, and I wash it out, and then I deep condition, and then I regular condition. I'm somebody who uses heat on my hair, usually bi-weekly. I blow dry and straighten it. So I obviously put in a heat protectant and leave-in conditioner, the ones I use I can link down below. And then I take my time blow drying my hair on cool. Then I go ahead and straighten it. To keep shine in your hair, you want to make sure you blow dry on cool or not really hot at all because that can really make your hair really dull and brittle. But blow drying on cool is a really good idea because you use less heat and you keep shine in your hair but it will take a lot longer i then go ahead and straighten my hair roughly i run over it i make sure i blow dry my hair really well so that i don't have to do that much straightening and i chop off any split ends i see i don't want any split ends so you actually don't have to take the length off your hair if it's not too bad sometimes you just have to go in and find the split hairs and chop them off so that you're not losing your length unless your length is really bad i created a 30 day healthy hair guide if you will for 30 days i literally wrote down day one day two day three day four what you should be doing with your hair every day obviously in 30 days you can't see anything like a huge change in length but you can see a huge change in hair health and this 30-day guide will get your hair going in the right direction if you're somebody who's struggling with your hair it's for all hair types I've learned so much from traveling the world and just ups and downs with my own hair so I put it into a 30-day guide and hair of course is not just what you put on it it's what you put in your body so my 30-day hair guide is literally what I want you to be doing internally, as far as what you're putting in your body, as well as how you should be treating your hair topically. So I'll link it down below if you guys want to purchase my 30 day hair guide. Um, and I'm really excited to see what you guys think about it so we can all be on our healthy hair journey together.